Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is a review of the Superfeet Pro Carbon Hockey uh, Hockey insoles. So I've used these for a few months now and I've kind of rotated different insoles from my skates to try different things, see how they, they feel and work. Um, so here's a review on these. So firstly, the idea of Superfeet is they have this kind of arch here. Now it doesn't support your arch, it supports behind your arch. So basically it keeps your, uh, your foot from collapsing. So we'll do it on this hand because it's easier to show. So basically your foot when you're sitting is kind of like this. And then when you stand out, it stretches out like that. Um, the idea with this is it supports behind your arch and it stops your arch from collapsing. So when you stand up, your foot stays like that. Some of the benefits of that, it's more an athletic uh, position. So you kind of get a better, so you get like more uh, push and everything like that as well as it pulls your toes back a bit. So when you're, if your feet are like this compared to totally flattened out, when you stand up, uh, you can get into a tighter skate and it pulls your toes back. You can kind of see where my toes are right here. My big toe is kind of like right there. Um, I So I never had issues with my arches when I was playing before with skates. I always had issues with my width of my skate. So I didn't really think that these would have any effect on me and I was kind of right about that. Um, these weren't more comfortable or they're kind of a little bit less comfortable than my normal insoles. But they did do a few things I noticed, which I will talk about. Um, but before that, I'm just going to talk about construction of these. So these Superfeet, the original Superfeet yellows for hockey were made of kind of a, a different style of foam and a different material on the top. These are kind of the upgraded newest and greatest versions of them. Um, so the foam here is kind of a closed cell foam. It is called their Evo Light foam. Um, so it's kind of a closed cell foam. It's nicer and a little spongier than the older version and it should uh, retain less water. The top is kind of just a, like a nylon material on the top. And then you have this carbon piece down here. Now, people have talked about, um, I, I don't know if this is carbon or plastic. Someone went on my CTM review and mentioned that it is carbon layered on top. I don't know if it is or not. I can't tell if it is or not. They advertise it as being it and kind of right there with the flybridge. Regardless, it's supposed to give more support to this plastic piece right here, and it gives support to like the actual insole itself. Um, I guess that's about it for what the insole is. Now, one of the things they advertise is 11% better acceleration. I don't believe that at all. Um, so the way that they tested it, I believe, was with uh, a bunch of skaters skating with them and then without them then timed how fast they were between blue lines now depending on how I don't trust that data at all um, pe humans are too kind of like they, they can change too much in variance of how you do something so I think that's kind of a bogus claim but these are helpful to a lot of people uh, if you have flat feet they can be helpful if you have like a huge arch or if you pronate or supinate they can be really helpful or sorry supinate basically one of the great things that they do is they hold your heel in place, so they're good for kids in the sense that if you're fit for, uh, if a child is fit in a skate that's a little bit too big, their heel could slide around, their foot can move around a bit in it. With super feet, your heel will, or their heel ideally will be locked in place with this, and it does definitely help with that, as well as the arch support to help lock the foot in place. And it does give you a bit more depth, or uh, like fill the skate a little bit more, because it is a bit taller than a normal um, kind of what's this rivet liner that's basically all is a rivet cover like this is a really cheap uh insole on a thousand dollar ccm skate now they offer two this was the cheapo part of it um so insoles like this or even the ones with a little bit of grip and the edges on it are pretty like aren't great super feet are definitely a, um, an advantage over that so there is advantages for this as well and like i said when your foot is locked in here in the heel it does keep your foot from kind of pronating and supinating by locking in place and kind of forcing it to be there instead of going on both its sides. For me, I never, like I said, I never really had those issues. So I'm not, I don't think really the ideal candidate for these. With that said, I definitely did notice my toes being pulled back a little bit. So when I'm coaching um, my skates, I can feel my toes at the end of the skate all the time. And it's pretty uncomfortable to be totally honest. Uh, it's when you're standing still standing up you're in a different position than when you're skating once your knees bend your toes pull back a little bit with these I definitely felt my toes off of the ends of the skates more than without these but I found when playing and going hard that this wasn't that comfortable and I'm a bigger fan of the 
CCM, my CCM Curex insoles. So I went back to that. But they definitely did pull my toes back. Now I know a ton of people swear by these and say that they can't play without them. I'm not one of those pe or people, but I definitely recommend people try them out. One of the reasons being is they do offer, I think it's a 60 day guarantee on them, or at least the stores I have seen have offered a 60 day guarantee where you can wear them for 60 days. If you don't like them, you return them for full refund and that's it. Again, used and it's, that's pretty simple. It's a pretty good guarantee. Um, so I, I definitely recommend people trying that out and making and seeing if that's an option for them for, near them. It is around the, some of the stores where I am. Um, so that's about it for this review for the super feet. I definitely recommend people check them out, but they're just not for me. They definitely do pull your toes back. So they definitely give you that advantage of keeping your foot from totally collapsing. It's not an orthotic. Um, orthotics are like very customized to each foot. It's ba it, it tries to be uh, orthotic for all just to give some of the benefits of it, but not really uh, give all of obviously the benefits for it because it is pretty generic for the feet. I will do another video on how to size these um, and what to look for and stuff like that or when you're sizing them. So yeah, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And remember, I hate to say this, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description. Helps me get things like these so I can do reviews on and talk about it. And if you do make a purchase or don't make a purchase of a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer on social media. Again, it helps me get some exposure to them just so I can keep doing these videos. Thank you very much and take it easy.